Lightning, and what are the odds? If there's lightning in the area, it's best not to ask that question. Take cover instead. I'm about to show you an example of nature's fury that's best told by sound and not by words. Just my heart dropped because I said, I hope it's not my the person I know. Gloria Colocho gets emotional when she speaks of her friend, 51-year-old Antonia Mendoza, who was killed Wednesday morning after being struck by lightning while walking her dogs in Pico Rivera. Mendoza died with her puppies. When the deputies arrived, they did find a female who was lying on the ground, along with uh, two dogs that were with her that appeared to be deceased as well. These images show Mendoza in happier times. We see her beloved puppies, Chubby and Luna. Fox 11 obtained this nest video showing Mendoza leaving for her daily walk with her precious pets. These are likely the final images of them alive. She was a sweet lady. She was very responsible. There were ominous warnings of a dangerous storm moving into this area. People were advised to stay inside Wednesday morning, but nothing would keep Mendoza from walking her dogs. How violent was the storm? Fox 11 obtained this exclusive video of the very moment the powerful lightning struck. Eight seconds of sheer terror. It sounds like a war zone, but it was Pico Rivera. Listen to it again. The thunder sounds like a bomb. Vibrations so strong, they set off car alarms. The asphalt seared by the strike. Wednesday evening, Mendoza's car still parked at the entrance to the riverbed hiking trail, her Bible and rosary visible in the car. Her friend and landlady said Antonia Mendoza was trying to save up a nest egg to visit her daughter. When the landlady heard the victim was a woman walking two dogs, she had a terrible feeling Antonia was the victim. And she has her dog's uh, stuff in the car and their towels for the dogs, and, and that's why I just knew that it's her. Mendoza worked at a house as a housekeeper in a nearby motel. Sadly, her life ended today with two of her most trusted companions. Laura Diaz reporting live, now back to the studio. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And first and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak with us. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. All right. And this is why you should fear Yahabah Shimi Awashah, man. Okay. And this is why. Okay. Because, hey, man, you never know when that judgment is going to come for you, man. You know, we all deserve judgment at the end of the day, man. And you never know when the Lord is going to decide to judge you, man. Okay. And to know that the Lord can judge you for something you did now or something that you did in your past life. It's scary, man. Okay, this is James 4 and 14. It reads, Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanish away, man. So you don't know what tomorrow holds, man. You don't know what the Lord has set up for you tomorrow, okay? You know, she probably thought the day before that she was going to get up you know, try to get out there before the before the storm take took 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 place because they they told him that a storm was coming. They told him don't go outside. She probably thought, hey, before the storm, you know, actually kick off, I'm gonna go and walk my dogs and come back. No, man, that's not what the Lord had set up for her. The Lord was gonna call her to the spirit world, man. That exact day at that exact time, man. Okay? It says, For ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this and that, man. Because it's on your high box. Hey, the Lord said, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, I kill and make a for life. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands, man. The Lord, the one that kills and make alive, man. The Lord is the one who calls you back up to the spirit world and brings you back down from the spirit world, man. Not the damn black woman. A lot of niggas out there saying that the woman is God, man. She 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 brings life into the world, and she can uh, uh she should have authority on taking life out, man. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard, man. 
the black woman is God, man. But you don't know when that judgment is coming. You know, you got the Christians out there saying that judgment, you know, takes place in the spirit world, man. You go up to the, uh, you, you go to, uh, you know, you, you, the Lord, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just bugged out, man. It is bugged out. Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Okay. And moreover, I saw the place under the sun. What's under the sun, man? The planet Earth, man. It says that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there, man. All right. And that's what's going on on the planet Earth, man. A lot of wickedness, man. OK, and this is what the Lord judges at. It's like going in front of an actual judge and her giving you, uh, you know, life in prison, man. Or the death penalty, man. You know, you don't you don't go in front of a judge in a in, a, in the courthouse, man, and she gives you a sentence and you and you do and you do your sentence right there. No. You you get sent to a place where that sent that that judgment that judgment is gonna be carried out, whether it's a, a prison a thousand miles away. You know? They send you somewhere else for that to carry out that punishment. You don't do the punishment right in the courthouse. You know, that's the stupidity of of, of people, man. Okay, but hey, man, a woman st struck by lightning, man. A woman struck by some damn lightning, man. This is, uh, you know, uh, the brother, Nahum. This is Nahum 1 and 3. It says, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked, man. The Lord is not going to acquit the wicked. You know? When you go into that word acquit, it means to be free from judgment or to, be, to leave unpunished, man. Okay? It says, the Lord have his weight in the whirlwind and the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet, man. Hey, thundering and lightning, that's a storm, man. All right, thunderstorm, electric, electrical storm, a lightning storm, it's all the same thing, man. Okay? It said, the Lord, the Lord have his weight in the storm, man. Okay? To have your way means to do whatever you want to do, man. Okay, the Lord does whatever he want to do, man. Okay, hey, they say that in the book of Psalms 115 and 3. But our God is in heaven. He have done whatsoever he have pleased, man. Okay. Hey, let's go to the book of Zephaniah, man. We're going to end here. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. It reads, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity, man. Okay? So was the uh, was the Lord unrighteous for making it uh, the, uh, lightning on top of a woman's head and killing her and her dogs? No, man. The Lord was uh, righteous in doing that. You got people, oh, she was just a good woman. She was responsible. All right? Had her damn rosary in a damn car wrapped around her Bible uh, with a booklet that was in there, a white booklet with Cesar Borgia on it, man. <laughs> you know, to the average peon out here, she was a good woman, man. In the house eating damn uh, pork sausage sandwiches, man. Cooking chitlins and shit, man. You know, she was a northern kingdom, man. You know, I believe she was Issachar. She had that last name, Mendoza, man. She was Issachar, man. You know? Going to damn church. Praising white Jesus. And she was righteous to you people. She was a good woman. She was responsible. <laughs> you know, this is Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity, man. The scriptures say, well, who have perished being innocent, man? And that's a rhetorical question, man. You know, we all deserve death, man. And, and, and through the mercies of the Lord, okay, the Lord is going to save a small remnant. That's the mercies of the Lord, man. Okay, you want to know how merciful the Lord is? That's how merciful the Lord is, man. Saving a small remnant, man. Because hey, man, we deserve death as well, Lord. willing, I'm a part of that number, man. You got niggas out. The Lord, the Lord is merciful. He's gonna, he's gonna save the heathen, man. Shut up. Zephaniah three and five. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light, he felleth not, man. You know. 
The Lord ain't say, you know, I'm going to send lightning upon this woman and the lightning hit the ground and she escaped into the house. No, man, the Lord's not, he don't miss in judgment, man. You know, I remember I did a lesson on the accuracy of the Lord's judgment, man. How, you know, he uh, was a teen dude wrestling with an officer. You know, the gun went off and you know, shot the teen. It went through both of the teen's legs and then went into the officer's leg. <laughs> you know, the Lord don't miss in judgment, man. It says, every morning, though, if he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not but the unjust, nor of no shame, man. Okay? So you people out there don't see a woman get st struck with lightning, okay? You know, and, and dies, man. And, 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 and it don't make you feel no type of way, man. You continue to live in wickedness, man. And then, not only that, you... You know, the news, Mother Nature. No, that wasn't Mother Nature. Ain't no damn such thing as Mother Nature. The Most High did that, man. You know? They show that when it comes to the Lord, man, they they, they, they put the Lord in a, in, a, in a box, man. They box him in. Mother Nature, karma. No, man, it's the Most High, man. Yahabah Shimmy Shah, man. That has full control of all things, man. And the scriptures say all things obey his will, man. You know? They don't give his, they don't give the Lord his proper respect, man. Okay, but guess what, man? You gonna the things that's about to happen in the near future, man, which is right around the corner, you're gonna know it was the Lord. Hope this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Hey, Shalom.